Jesus is the only way to God. Jesus said, I'm the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Every Yo, what it do? It's your boy, MTZ King, and I'm back on the screen. <laughs> Yo, what's up, squad? It's already Sunday, but it is currently 2.44 a.m. Today is a very special day. Today is December the 15th, 2019. Three years ago, on this exact day, I proposed to the love of my life. A lot of people were like, damn, it was so soon that I proposed to her because we were only dating for a month. <laughs> but like I said, this girl had my heart. <laughs> From the day that I, like, literally laid eyes on her. That's when we were in high school. A lot of people probably wonder, like, damn, why did you take so long to ask her out? Why didn't you ask her out? Da -da -da. Short story. True story. And I'm going to make it short for y'all. <laughs> the love of my life and my cousin, that was my cousin that passed away. They were like this. They were best friends. And every time my cousin would talk about her, I was like, hey, man, put me down with your homegirl. And she was like, nah, cuz, nah, da, da, da. And she just kept telling me, nah, 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 you know. And I was like, why not, you know. And she was just like, nah, I don't think she likes you. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, anyways, though. Years passed, fast forward into three years later, you know, well, actually three years pre before, you know what I'm saying? I asked her out on August the 4th of 2016, and I proposed to her September the 15th of 2016. The reason I did it, because I knew she was the one, like... When you know someone is the one, you just know they're the one, especially, like, come on, she was, like my high school sweetheart crush like i had a big ass crush on her and did i ever think that that would come true no i didn't but when i had it in front of me and i had the opportunity i went ahead and took the opportunity and the chance you know no matter where we stand at in life now no matter like i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh we got the perfect relationship whatever Hell no, we're far from perfect. You know, <laughs> there was, you know, times she disrespect me, times I disrespect her. And did I ever want to disrespect her? No, I, like, God's my witness. I, even if she believes me or not, I never intend to disrespect her. Sometimes in life, we get really angry and mad with either stuff that we see or, or stuff that we hear. And you're just going to say whatever comes to mind, not that you mean it. So that's why they say when you love somebody, be careful what you say because it could truly hurt somebody. In my words, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, act like, oh, no, I'm, I'm perfect. Like I tell you, I'm far, far from perfect, you know. There's been stuff that I said that, you know, hurt her really bad and whatnot. And, but at the end of the day, it's like, she knows that I love her. And she could sit there and be like, no, you don't love me, this and this and that. But she truly, truly knows that I freaking love her. Because, you know, if I didn't love her, she, I'm saying, for those that know me in my past, past. Y'all know the top nigga I am, but my cousin was here to be able to tell y'all the type of nigga that I am. Trust me. She'd be like, that's pimp daddy right there, you know what I'm saying? There was a time in my life where all these females, they swear they thought they was dating me and they were getting mad. Like, oh no, why the fuck you talking to her for? Why the fuck are you talking to her for? Like, meaning like about other girls. Like, why the fuck I was talking to other girls when it's like, at the end of the day, I ain't in a relationship with y'all, you know? I know my boundaries. When I'm in a relationship, I only fuck with one female, and that's the female that I'm with. If I'm not in a relationship, then 
I'm gonna talk to her, no, whoever the hell I fucking wanna talk to. But you see, now it's kind of different because now this girl, you know, with this woman, I freaking love her to death. And yeah, cause you know, she is a woman, you know, she is the age that she is. So <laughs> I can't sit there and be like, oh, this girl, no, she's a woman. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I just, I freaking love her. Like, you know, not even when we get mad, not even, no matter what the situation is, like, I freaking love her with all my fucking might. Like, you know, that's the reason why I got down on one knee and asked her to marry me, you know? And I remember on this day, your boy was nervous as hell. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, damn, what if she doesn't say? What if she says no? What if she says it? That's the reason why I got this A, because I barely got this A tatted on me last year, though, on Mother's Day of last year. And so I've been with this for a year now. And I already kind of explained that I got it tatted because, you know, I was working while I was working at moving boxes and stuff. One day I almost lost my damn ring. So I was like, no, you know what? I'm just going to get her. If I would have got her initials, literally it would have been AA unless I would have put an AM. But otherwise, I, it would her last name starts with A. So it would have been AA. So I was like, I'm just going to get the A, you know? And... At first, she thought I got the A for our daughter's name. And I was like, really, babe? Like, why the hell would I get our daughter's first name? For that, I might as well get my daughter's actual name on me. Which, that is in the works, you know, in the future. I am going to get that. I, I, I There's even a certain picture that I want to get of her. Like, her little face. But, um, yeah, you know, I was just like... No, she, she was in shock. She couldn't believe it. She was like, nah, it's fake. Like, what the hell? Like, it's real? Like, what? At first, she thought it was fake. But then she was like, oh, shit, you would have got it. I remember the first day that she even seen me when she saw me. And she was like, let me see. And she saw it. And she was like, damn, you really did get it. You crazy, dude. -doo. Like, yeah, crazy for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, and this is how I know it's true love compared to all the other relationships I've been in. Yeah, the other relationships, I could have said, I love you, whatever the hell. But did I really mean it? Obviously, I did. And because if I did, if I really loved them, I would have fucking done had a shitload of names on me. You know what I'm saying? So this this is how I know this is really, really, really real, you know? And I had I have even been telling her, babe, give me a, like a, a thing like in your lips because I want to get her lips up. I wanted to get them on my neck, but then, I don't know, I'm probably going to get, get like, both of them right here. I want to get two, probably right here. I don't know, I'm still thinking, like, do I want to get it right here, two of them, or do I just want to go ahead and just get it on my neck? I don't know, but, you know, to get a job, then it kind of, you know, does mess with it, because there's a lot of jobs, like, that don't want you with tattoos. Like, I was applying for this one job, and they said, you can have tattoos on your fingers. So I'm just like, oh, you know, that's how the damn, I can't do that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm not going to sit here and put a band-aid on something that means something to me, you know what I mean? I'm just not going to do it, so that's why I'm kind of still thinking on the lips. Like, I want to get her lips on me, but I just don't know exactly where yet. But I think it's going to be in my hair. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, so this day is really special, you know, and, baby, I just want to say, if you're watching this, I freaking love you with all my heart, no matter what we've been through, so many downs, but at the same time, we have created so many memories together, I just want you to know that I'm always going to love you, unconditionally, like, you're the love of my life, and... I have no regrets, even if I ever tell you that I regret anything, I really don't. Because if I did, you know, I would have done been out for good. But I do love you with all my heart, I do. I really do. So yeah, guys, um, three years, and <laughs> it was like it was just yesterday, I can remember this whole night. I was just like, damn, I literally proposed to her at the party. I even have that video on, I have the, when I proposed to her, I have the video here on my YouTube channel. Um, I would have to dig it up to get the link, so I'm going to try to do that, but if not, y'all just put, um, put in, I think, I think I titled it something, and, um, she said yes, I believe, something like that. So, if it's not in the link, y'all go look for it, but you'll be able to find it, and, so I did post it on YouTube.
that man, it, I, that day, I, I got so many butterflies that when she said yes, oh my God, I was just so damn excited. I still remember that day. She was sitting on the bench and there was a dog and I was like, look at that dog. Like, I was trying to get her distracted so I could take the ring out. Next thing you know, I just remember getting on my knee and she like, her face was freaking priceless. She like just freaked out and she was like, no, get up. And I was like, well, to do this, you got to get down on one knee. You know what I'm saying? And I have the original ring because... Well, the original ring that I had got for her, it wasn't ready yet at that time. And I already had told her, I have a surprise for you. That's why I messed up. So I didn't want to keep her waiting. So I had to get a backup ring. And the backup ring I literally have. And she has the original one that was supposed to be her actual, you know, proposal or so ring. The, like the engagement ring, you know. So... <laughs> I have the original one and I am planning to do something special with it, you know, as soon as I get enough, you know, money and stuff, I am planning to do that, and yeah, but today's a special day though, man, three years, it's like, damn, <laughs> it's three years is a long time for me, shit, you know, I fucking... Like I said, you know, she might have damn spend the rest of my life to the day that it's my time to go with her because at the end of the day, that's just who I love. And it ain't about the looks. It ain't about none of that. It's about, you know, what my heart feels for her. Like, I've never been a type of dude that go for the looks and shakes so it was for the looks. Like, trust me, it would just be crazy. Like, never go for somebody because of their looks. A lot of people do that shit, like, they want to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, I got a badass girl, this and this and this and that. She fly. My girl, to me, she fly. She beautiful. She's gorgeous to me. And that, as long as I think that, that's all that matters to me, you know. Even when she puts herself down, I tell her different because at the end of the day, I don't just tell her that because, oh, you know, she's the love of my life. I'm telling her that because I'm just being straight up honest, you know what I mean? But... You know, drop down in the comment section below. She put happy anniversary. J and A. <laughs> J and A. Y'all put J and A. But, uh, I, I'll see y'all later on. I'm about to lay down and just be here laying down because I can't sleep. <laughs> but, anyways, I'll catch y'all in a bit though later on. Chill. Yo, what's up with the Do Squad? I'm back right here with my little brother. We're, we went to 7-Eleven real quick. He got a Slurpee with a Dallas Cowboys draw. Because all of a sudden, he's a Dallas Cowboys fan. But you know how that is. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's a Cowboy fan, so yeah. But we're already headed right here back to the crib. So I'll catch y'all right now in a bit, though. Oh, look at my hair. Ooh, I finally got my moco gel. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch y'all in a bit, though. Dang it, sonny. I don't got my glasses on right now, but it's freaking hot. But anyways, though, I just want to let y'all know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get out the trash. My trash in my room is already full. Because I believe I'm going to get the baby in a little bit. So I'm trying to do everything I can, you know what I'm saying? But I will catch y'all in a bit, though. Shit. Yeah. Yo, what's up with it, do squad? Hope everybody had a great Sunday. It was a chill Sunday for me. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys won and the Seattle Seahawks, so that was mission accomplished. You know, game two. And they both won again, so that was a heck yeah. Got to talk to my baby before she went into work while she was actually on her way to work. And, um... Even though I wish I could have spent it with her, like I said, today was special. Today is a special day. Not just today, but like every day that I get to hear her voice or be with her, it's a special day. But today's extra special, you know what I'm saying? So, once again, I love you, babe. Happy anniversary, and you mean the world to me. And like I said, I ain't perfect, and. I apologize for any time that I ever hurt your feelings or made you feel like crap. I really am sorry from the bottom of my heart. And I'm trying to be a better version of myself. And 
to everybody else, you know, when you love somebody, just hold on tight and try not to speak out when you're angry or you're upset. Just think about what you're going to say before you say it because you could hurt somebody's feelings, you know what I mean? And not just your significant other, but like anybody, whether it's your mom. I know a lot of y'all have best friends and all this and that, so y'all just be careful on what you say before. Don't say something that you're going to regret later on. Um... But yeah, I'm chilling here with the baby still. Shh, 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 shh. I'm chilling right here with the baby and stuff, but she's gonna be getting ready to leave in a little bit. It's like it's 10:25. She should be leaving right now, like around 10:30. But I mean, not 10:30, 11:30. So she still needs about an hour and some minutes. But um, I'm just chilling here and. I hope everybody had a great day though, and I will see y'all tomorrow. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, join the team, join the squad, and I'll see y'all in a bit though. Chill. My bad. I won't see y'all in a bit. I'll see y'all tomorrow. My bad. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, whatever y'all do, don't drink and drive. Get a designated driver. With that being said, I'm out now. Good night. Chill.